Hello, everybody. It's time for whatever we're calling this thing. The stick or whatever. Um, I'm uh, Lemon, and uh, here's my other friend here. <laughs> you sound like a TV show announcer. I am a TV show announcer. It's what I do. It's my calling or something. We go VTuber status. When we go VTuber status, when we do this, we're going to have a talk show set. I still don't know who you are, special person. <laughs> we're going gonna, to gonna do like a live drawing of the, the what the show... um. Freaking, what's his name? Uh, was it the Daily Show, the Nightly Show, the what? What is it? Late Night Show? I don't know. The one that they were doing the um, the Mad Libs. Oh yeah, uh, the Tonight Show. I just can't remember that actor's name. That's the host. Uh, it's not Dave Chappelle. Why did I think Dave? Chappelle? Why did you think it's a white guy? Uh, no, I was like, what the? Okay, so the Nightly Show with Dave Chappelle. Yeah, that's what we're. Yes. That's what we're drawing. That's he what... is black. It's gonna, dude. That's gonna just make it the what is it, the Eric Andre show? Yeah, that's amazing. That's that's pretty it. much what it's gonna turn into. I guess you could be Hannibal Beerus though. I so will you get be Hannibal. in the chair and then I'll just shoot you. Yeah, and I'll be like, and I'll and I'll go and okay. run through and rampage the set, and then they'll put the set back to normal before the show begins. I'll be like, what the hell, person? I have no idea who you are. I am Diva Doge Star. You're all going to love me. <laughs> nice to meet you, Diva Doge Star. It's uh, really amazing to to, uh, to get to know you. I'm going to be honest. Every time I think of someone with an announcer voice, I think of one of those puppets. Uh, I don't remember if it was from Sesame Street or what, but those puppets that have like the really like long, almost like rectangular heads. And then they have, they like, have like the long. And nose. they have like a. Yeah, they have the long nose, but they have yeah. like a really huge chin. Yeah, and, it's, and their you nose is about? always it's... like an off color from what their actual. Yeah, like is. they're like skin it's color, like, but their nose is like is green or yeah, something. like some like, yeah. weird color. Yeah, that that's what I look like in real life, guys. No, you don't have a nose in real life. Uh, you're Krillin. That you're sucks. you're black Krillin with an afro. That's weird, but you know. <laughs> dude, that's what I've always imagined. I'm serious. If I'm being like real honest, I've always imagined if you were in an anime, you just you would pretty much just be like black Krillin. I, Is that bad? Uh, no, I just was trying to think of a Voldemort line. I couldn't think of anything because I was like, he doesn't have a nose. He's just. Loving. I know one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that some scary movie? <laughs> Oh, that's Michael Jackson. I can't never yeah. tell him and Voldemort apart. That's very true. I'm being honest. Yeah, I mean, like... God, rest of, God bless his soul. I mean, like, I'm just like, it's just little Jesus juice. I mean, like, seriously. Oh, yeah, that was a Voldemort line, right? He told that to Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Or, sure or he was maybe... Like, the boy who lived. It's just little Jesus juice. It's just a little Jesus juice. <laughs> when he gave him the scar, he's like, here you go. And they're like, why would you do that? And he's like, it's just a little Jesus juice. I'm going to keep saying That's that. horrible, man. That's what happened. <laughs> Search your feelings, I guess. I don't know. I love this, uh, this... Oh, Carmella. I was like, who is this? And it was like... I don't look very much like Carmella in my personal opinion, but that's me. What game are we... What, what channel are we on? Uh, the blue one. Uh, what channel are we on? We're not streaming. We're just, uh... Oh, we're just recording. recording. We're just oh, okay. recording. Because okay. I don't have anything, uh, set up for streaming, so... Oh, okay. At the moment. That was, uh... Sorry, guys, this is in the past, misleading. in the future, in the past, past, future, present. Thing. Probably the past you're watching it. Yeah. It, I, I, I don't know. It might, it might be transcendent. It's, it's gonna go into our past and then be current? Or be okay, so I'm just gonna say that your <laughs> character on here is really funny because every time there's a fin, it's just on her ass. Every time there's a what? It, when, watch, when she... When she, like, goes for a finisher, she's like, it says, Finn, on your ass. Does it really? I haven't even yeah. noticed. It's really funny. Or, or like, pin on, on, on your ass. And I'm like, uh, okay. And the best one was when you were on the ground and it said, dirty pin on your ass. Like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what they're trying to say. But... I know what they're trying to say. We need to ask, we need to ask the viewers about it. Do you guys want to dirty pin my ass? No, say, I don't say what you feel. How do you feel? Yeah. I feel a no. <laughs> I guess not. Not you. You don't count. 
<laughs> it's true. I've known you for too long. Diva's, uh... Yeah, and you're, and you're yeah. black tone with no nose. You're not gonna have any fun down there anyways. I, I'm, I'm, I have split my soul into multiple parts and can do a Kamehameha. I think I'm good. I mean, that's true. That is, I mean, you do have some pretty cool abilities. I mean, the and, fact... And you're black, which gives you street cred. I know, I, but but the worst part is, is I'm black, but I decided to go white, so I'm like a Rochimaru almost. I mean, like I terrible. mean, I wouldn't say that that's like a Rochimaru. I... Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, just because thinking... like Orochimaru didn't start off black. Could you imagine black Orochimaru? <laughs> he just started off with a fro and then decided to straighten. Somebody his hair. do that. Somebody do black Orochimaru. <laughs> that sounds freaking hilarious. But I mean, again. I just don't think that would make you Michael Jackson. <laughs> well, you know, Michael Jackson had a pet monkey or chimp or something. I don't know. Bubbles. Yeah, he also named his kid, what, Blanket? So, I gotta ask. So, if his kid, like, like had an accident, does that make him a wet blanket? Oh, <laughs> I'm getting terrible. I, mean, I think being raised by Michael Jackson makes you a wet blanket. <laughs> I think being raised by Michael Jackson in general makes you just horrible. Well, if we're just gonna rip on a dead guy. <laughs> How about that, Robin Williams? Sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm even able to play this while I'm fucking laughing as much as I am because. Uh, it's because I, I have dirty I'm, pen in your ass. <laughs> I'm on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> I don't, I don't just suck at this game, everybody. Like, this is actually the hardest difficulty. I am on Legend right now. I love that that's what's important to you right now, not the fact that you have a dirty pin in your ass. They just want to dirty pin my ass, okay? Everybody everybody really wants to. It's, and it's, it's not my fault. It's not a problem. There's a solution. Yeah, the solution is more cowbell. <laughs> I, uh, I actually don't understand that one. I don't either, I mean, but it, it was funny. I mean, okay. It made you laugh! I mean, it did, but I so don't understand the connotation there. It's I was trying to envision it, and I'm like, are we just sticking a cowbell up my butt? It's not a pen. Yeah, it's not a pen. That's right. You know, there was a Wait, so if I'm saying, like, people pinning... Wait, no, that's pegging. Okay, never mind. That's I was like, what do we mean by people pinning my ass? That would just be like laying on my ass, right? Or what would no, be like? No, it'd be like pinning. sticking a pin in your ass. It's apparently a thing, and like I've just stuff. seen that on like on workaholics. Yeah, when, like, um, they went to the freaking hotel or whatever, oh and freaking. I was in workaholics. I just saw it on a. Porn yeah, video. remember, uh, freaking what's his name? Dirty brown water trash. Uh, I, I remember that, but I don't remember his fucking name. The drug uh, dealer. Uh, yeah, uh, like uh, Carl. Curry, yeah, Carl. Carl. Yeah. yeah. yeah Carl. Carl was was uh that fancy lady that they were trying to get the freaking brand deal for Telemere. Oh my god, yeah. And uh they were just in the freaking I bathroom freaking shoving whatever god knows what up her up her butt. Yeah. Is that what that is that okay, I don't want people to do that to me. I I I'm I'm speechless. I'm not about butt fun. That's unfortunate for you, I guess. No not for not for me, for the masses. Anybody that wants to do that to me will now forever know that I'm not into it. I don't know. I'm not into it. I had to think about it for a second. I was like, I'm not into that either. I'm into giving it. <laughs> I mean, okay. Wait, you want to stick pens up someone's butt? Oh, no, not pens. Per se. Okay, Please well, speak. Like what? Um, Like a long, hard... Broad, firing hot poker. A needle. I don't know. A, a needle? I'm just spouting off things that are long. Needles are needles aren't like necessarily long in the sense of like a knitting needle is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. I know it's. So okay. Lovely. Okay. So so speaking about weird lewd stuff. Let's let's get into it, okay? So, you know, a lot of this shit can be very taboo for people. Yeah. But uh, in regards to to needles or whatever, I guess knitting needles. So before um, we before we go on, I think we should do this in a format of a, of a, of a support group. 
because it would be hilarious to I'm me. A support group? Yeah. Okay, so like what? Like I'm I'm so and so and I have a problem. I like shoving needles in people's butts. My name is Lemon and it's been three days since I haven't shoved a pin up my ass. And then like have everyone clap I'm, I'm and be like, like the clown so happy. The support monkey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you like cocaine. <laughs> oh no. Some of the references. Uh, that's the last one, I swear. And I don't, I don't plan, but I don't know, whatever. It's okay. a reference! Okay, well, okay, well, you start then. Start. How, uh, how, how exactly do you, would we go about this as a, I was gonna say youth group, and that's not, that's, <laughs> that's not, I hope okay. not. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> sitting around the campfire, like, singing church songs and be like, okay, everybody, let's talk about fashion! Yeah, and we're like, kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. I like putting stuff in my asshole. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, Jimmy, that was not like, very appropriate for this. Me camp. too, Billy. Really? Billy, like, what? no. <laughs> I like trying to stick needles up my urethra. Whoa, Bob, dude, Robert, Robbie, Rob, dude. I let him do it, Sally. <laughs> Sa oh man, man, I'm gonna have to call all of your parents. Our parents are asleep right now. We're in the middle of the woods. There's not a telephone here. Oh, oh crap, you're right. Here we go. No. I'm confiscating all of your sharp objects. <laughs> Plenty of sticks laying around. Um, oh man, I'm never doing. I'm. I, like, I quit. quit. I'm leaving. I'm I done. quit being a scoutmaster. I'm not doing this ever again. <laughs> I also love that we we came up with a scoutmaster thing, and it was totally uh, mixed gender, which is not not a works. thing. How that works? Well, that's how it works now. They sell popcorn and cookies. Oh my god, I would be. That would be amazing. I'd be so happy. I just would love it if someone would munch on my cookies. Also, I, I, I love the idea. I, 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 I would love to have someone munch on my cookies, too, but I have to make them first. But, um... Where, where if you were to describe a body part as your cookies, what part of your body is that? The part of my cookies? Yeah, if you're like, mm, munch on my cookies. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, what would I describe as that? Is that is that your butt, or is it the hunk of bunk of doingies? I don't know what that would be, because, like... A baked good? Like, it would make more sense to call it, like, a pie. Cause oh, so like... it would totally be your ass, then. Because no. buns? Well, no, because cookies aren't, like, that at all. How... How in the world... Do we function? <laughs> what would be my cookies? I want I want to know what would be... I cool. also don't know what they mean by milkshakes, so I'm really confused anyway. Do you think if you shook your boobs, like, rigorously enough... That you could dispense milkshakes. You'd have to refrigerate them too, though, wouldn't you? You know, I just had a disgusting thought. I'm okay. What? What's that? Milkshakes made from breast. I mean, that's kind of what we were talking about. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, what was it? What were we watching? That that show where uh, where they were talking about breast milk cheese. Oh, oh, was that from, that was Superstore. That was Superstore, that was, yeah. That's even, like, a, a good show. Yeah, I mean, we're calling it just a good show, but, like, that was, like, a family sitcom. Yeah. And they're, and they're talking they're like, about breast milk cheese. Yeah, it was, uh, pretty fucking weird. But, you know, the thing is, it's like, it's, it is, he was right about one thing. It is an untapped market. And for a reason. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. I, Do you know? Do you not know? I, I don't know. Have you ever, like, milked your lady? With your mouth? Do you want a straight answer, or do you want the, or do you want the, the, the fluffy pillow answer? Would you, with what we've been talking about, do you think anyone wants the fluff? Okay, I, they could lay on my fluffy pillows. I think most people would like that. People like so, sleeping on my fluffy pillows. People are gonna be so confused, confused about my gender identity. They're gonna be like, "What are you?" I'm gonna be like, "I'm just me." He's just a monkey named Lemon. I am just you don't have to. You don't have to worry about his gender. That's cross species stuff. Unless you're into bestiality, and that's not okay. Furries I mean, it, are okay, I mean it, it's okay. But like, but, but like don't, don't. I'm don't not gonna kink shame anybody. But don't, maybe don't. don't do interspecies relations. But if, if I mean, you if you already gonna... are, whatever. I guess I'm not gonna limit my 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 uh, my fan base. I'm not gonna tell you that you can't like peg your dog if you want. 
You probably I'm gonna shouldn't. I'm gonna say that's illegal, so it's probably not a. Is good it illegal? Idea. Yes. Because because this I'm whole places, still... not Alabama. I think I don't know if it's Alabama. I'm originally from the South, so I'm a Southern monkey, and I hate Alabama. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's not right. sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You know another. I actually don't... don't know, but like this whole like zoophilia issue. I don't know what that's legal or illegal that's in a terms of that. Thing. Like it's it's really bad, but like, you know, it's funny because zoophilia is somehow in the same <clears throat> vein as someone shitting in public, and I don't understand that. I know why would pa why would public bathrooms exist if you can't shit in public? Yeah, that's true. And why and there's a tree right there. What's wrong anyway? Um, but I I heard and is I don't camping, know. Is camping public? Like yeah, if you go if you go to the bathroom while you're camping in the middle of the night and no one's there, is that technically illegal? Technically, yes. No shit. Yeah, technically it is. Like, wow, like you guys, the... you, all you campers, you heard it here. Yeah, like by by technicality, yes, it is. Nobody enforces it, but it's like I'm the gonna park become a park ranger and enforce it. You're just gonna be, you're just gonna be peeping on people and be like, how dare you shit in the woods? I am. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna get freaking um night vision. Goggles and be uh, like, yeah, and, and uh, like, like specifically night vision binoculars. There's one, there's one problem with that though. What? There's the well, there's two problems actually. And I'm gonna use them during the day. <laughs> what, 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 there's two problems with that. One, you're a panda, you're gonna be really, really slow. Uh, a hyanda, I can run on all fours. And two, because you're a hyanda, you're they're gonna hear you laughing before anything. You're freaking right. That's true. I'm gonna, be like, I'm gonna be in it. Hello, it's cackling. Thank you. Cackling, laughing, whatever. I'm gonna be high, high end of cackling. What do you <laughs> think that would sound like? Like you? Yeah, probably. So, I mean, like you've already done it like three times already. Have I? Yes, it's a thing. I I seriously am so used to it. I don't even notice it now. Uh, well, that's good. I remember there was a point where I would notice it and it would make me laugh more. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so... With so that, all you the, campers better watch out. The high end is coming for you. Just listen for the cackling and run away. Yeah, Just pull pack, your pants first. Pack, you don't have to. I mean, I mean, it's up to you, but, you know, it's, it's a thing. I guess. You know, we could always have a little bit of fun. And, uh, so, speaking of uh, the animophilia thing... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, okay... Zoophilia and, zoophilia and 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 I guess and I guess I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really touch on that anymore because I don't really know where well the good the, news the is, line lays on that the good news about Diva is she can switch into a human form so it's not really the same thing this is true I do have a human form and and everyone will be graced with it eventually I will I will yes have he my sees model you up. when she's when you're sleeping and she also knows when you're awake. I mean, that's only because I've set up security cameras in everyone's houses, but... She doesn't care if you've been bad or good, because she's hoping you're being bad. Let's be real honest. That's true. Mommy will punish you. <laughs> Wait, what, you'd be surprised if I just refer to myself as mommy? No, that's not was that not was. Not, it not was the bad like, part? It, it was just... It was, I, I can't, I, be, a, uh, can't I, be a dummy mommy, or what? You are a dummy mommy. I let's just am. Be real I, that's true. That's... Like, my, I remember at one point one you fantasy. told me, I'm a submissive. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I can switch. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. It says, says the freaking monkey named Lemon. Did you get your name because your freaking hobo clown feeds you lemons? Because that's all he has to fight off his scurvy? I was in the circus, okay? Oh, okay. So you just got lemon scraps. Uh, so no. we should call you Lemon Pill, not Lemon... <laughs> That's my last name. <laughs> That's my last name. <laughs> How did you know about my family? <laughs> my family and Bobo the clown. It's Bobo, like, huh? Bobo, yeah. I was the I was the it unnamed one. It wasn't one. like Trash Mouth the clown or something. No, Bobo was on TV. It wasn't like Anus Fart the clown. I would explain a lot, but no. <laughs> it would explain a lot. That would. That it, it really would, would. It would explain quite a bit of my life if I was uh if I was, what did you say, anus fuck? Uh, pig pen or something. I don't know. Charlie Brown the Clown. Charlie Brown the Clown. 
<laughs> that wasn't even on purpose to. That wasn't even trying to make. Charlie that rhyme. Brown the clown. I was not even trying to make that rhyme. It was so just... so. Diva here is uh, is making as many shit references as possible because I'm not know. even trying to. Just it's just lies and slander. <laughs> but uh, because uh, the lemon here is uh, very much into uh, into like scat porn, but it's uh, speaking of going even more oh, lewd let's get possible. Lewd. Anybody want to see a big hunk of bunk doingy doingy boingies doing a Triple H entrance? Because that's what's happening right now. I don't know if that's copyrighted or not. But... Oh god, I'm so glad you weren't going where I thought you were going. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, where was I talking? Where was I talking? Where was I talking? Right here, right now, in this place that I am, my house. It's He, he, he has a disorder. He got bitten by a past tense, and so he's a where-was. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, sorry. It's ooh. It. <laughs> Who am I? It's like it's. Uh, it's like how how would you do that? Like if you were a where was, you'd be like ah, ooh, but it would be ooh. <laughs> is is so so was is is past tense of where you were or where you are, right? That so, would suck. I'd be like, you, you like, it's like, oh no, it's the full moon, and you replace your, you retrace your steps. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're technically, like, I you're guess. like, oh no, it's the full moon. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? That would suck. I, mean, I think technically, being aware was would make you walk backwards until you were at the beginning of your day. I know. <laughs> I guess at least you would still end up in your bed eventually. Yeah, that's true. It's like shit. <laughs> Just redo everything and be like, can you imagine like someone just like was watching this person like, oh, there goes the where was, you know, it's like it's like that scene, it's like that thing in uh, uh whose line is it anyway where I they go backwards. I love that skit. I know it's so funny. That I don't skit know what it's is called, so but funny. it's so funny because that's totally fast what it forward is. rewind something. I don't, I don't remember what it's called either. The part that the part that really hell like really sucks about that though. <laughs> is that like let's say hypothetically you were masturbating that day like every day and uh oh no let's get into it like, and you're just what like, about on shitting yeah that's also a thing or like unpissing what if you took, like, what if you took a poop a big old dumper a big old dinky dunkaroos <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, and then like, you had to go back to the toilet, and anything you touched rewound, so it pulled your your <laughs> your big stinky pants like back into you, and you're back like... up the pipes from the sewer, <laughs> right back into your butthole, and you're just like, what is going on? And it's like, it's like curse you, where where uh, where was that bit me in the first place? Also, how would a where was like procreate because. Yeah, they wouldn't would they... be able to do well, like they would have to like do it while they were like not actually aware was, which would be pretty funny. Yeah, they'd have to like legitimately get into a fight where they bite someone normally. And then and then what how is that person gonna that person's not gonna be in the same place that they were so, when you go thanks, back? Thanks, Diva. You are the reason that I that I am aware was. Oh shit, you know what you're probably you're, like, right. the only one who's ever bit me. In the head, mind on, you. On on not the penis though. Not the penis head. Like the head, like top of the head. Not penis head. I hope that's what they, I hope that's not I, what they thought. Sound, your cranium. I bit your cranium. That why does that sound worse now? I'm gonna start calling my penis the cranium. You really shouldn't. I'm gonna start calling it cranium head. It's like radio head, but uh I don't understand that now. Way more Just, no. Just um, stop. way more lewd. Cranium head? Cranium head. Crayon head. That should be a villain or something. Why is everything I'm imagining a penis now? Because everything is a penis. Oh, <laughs> it was my understanding that when I came here 15 years ago, that everything, everything was, was a penis. penis. <laughs> okay, if anybody freaking gets that, freaking please leave a comment. Because yes, because it's... it's I, feel, I feel like that's they need, semi They need, me, they need more people. They need yes. more people to... to freaking like, shout out to Auntie Donna, okay? Just freaking they're shouting freaking them hilarious. out. They are super funny. They do have a Netflix original series. Is one season five episodes? Nine uh, episodes? Five, I think. I think it's, yeah, I five, think it's five episodes. episodes. Each and one starts hilarious. out with a song. It's amazing. It's definitely... Yeah. They, they deserve support. Go support them on YouTube. Mm. They're, they're Australian, so they're sexy as fuck. Yeah, they do have that freaking awesome-ass Australian accent. You know, they're like, yeah. you know, you're a, you're a legend, mate. Yes. 
And like, uh, I honestly, is, like, I almost named my Wi-Fi Poo Poo, but I, I didn't. <laughs> I had to keep it bite me because I've, I'm, I'm aware was. He's aware was. <laughs> I'm also aware was. The, the, the thing that it benefits me for though, because I don't find it to be a detriment, but I don't really like leave my room, and when I leave my room, I'm in the kitchen making food. So you know, whether that's backwards or forwards. It's kind of the same thing. I think the worst part about that is since you eat more, like, eat, eat, like make food more than I do, you'd basically be eating and then, like, throwing up that food, like, and it would go back into a perfect thing. And then I'd repackage the package and put it back in the freezer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I would, I, I, oh no. The freaking, the, our air fryer would freeze food instead <laughs> yes. of salt. <laughs> once a month, though. Once a month. <laughs> it is only once a month. It's only on the, the, the new moon. moon. The new moon. It's the new moon. It's, but, uh, it's only on the crescent moon. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, it's like, okay, the full moon's going up. We're not doing anything today. And you'd be like, okay. And then I'd be like, hey, you know what? I'm hungry. I'm going to go to McDonald's. And you'd be like, your funeral. <laughs> I know, right? And I'm like, no, I'm going to make burger. And I'll be like, no. I'm going to make burgers today. And I'd be like, no. You'd walk out of your room and I'd be like, oh, dude, ah. imagine, imagine if you took a big hunk of donk of bungy dungy, pooper, scooper, malooper, chooper. I don't know. <laughs> it just sounded like I was talking about pooping out of my boobs. <laughs> but, what the but hell? I don't know, but imagine if you took a big stinky winky and, um, is it bad? All I'm thinking about is like, is like one of those, like, you know, like the soft serve machines. Oh no. <laughs> Like, I heard that like, there's a technique to make your poops that easy. I don't need to know that. Yeah, apparently you're supposed to like cross one leg over the other while you're pooping. And apparently it makes it come out like super easily. I've tried it and my legs don't work like that. I, I... Being a, being a high end and having such, such thick, chunky, wonky thighs that people love being between. Uh, my, my, I don't have enough like space... I don't have like a thigh gap to move my legs in those directions. I'm sorry, I totally blanked out there. What were you saying? <laughs> okay, so imagine I don't want if you made if you made a, a like a freaking like triple deluxe amazing awesome burger, and it was the night of the crescent moon, and you took a big old stinky bobinky, and uh, I love that we've changed it to three different moons so far. <laughs> I can't keep it straight. <laughs> like full moon, blue moon, or full moon. Yeah, blue moon. moon. I'm on a blue moon, moon now. Now it's four. Uh, full full moon, new moon, blue moon, and crescent moon. We've had three di or four different types of moons. Okay, anyway, so, so, okay so during the harvest moon, um, when <laughs> if you <laughs> you make a, a a triple decker awesome burger of amazingness. And yeah, you, you mow that, you mow that down. A couple hours later, you have to go take a, a chungus wungus, and uh, then then the harvest moon rises. After you go and do a, a bunch of other stuff, so you wake up out of your bed as your where was, and you gotta go re ingest. <laughs> we'll say reverse ingest that uh, honka donka, and then. <laughs> regurgitate it back into the pan where you were cooking it where it freezes <laughs> and then you put it back in the freezer <laughs> like would you <laughs> if I woke up the next day I would throw out the package <laughs> I would just wake up and be like nope <laughs> the thing is is that uh Diva is way too amused with herself and it's it's, it's... <laughs> It's well warranted, but it's very. I'm I'm trying very hard not to like laugh for the bit, but the bit is not working because it's actually very funny. Because I am a child and I am very twelve year old mentality, I guess, or something. I don't know. Because I I guess poop is just funny. I don't, it's it's a thing. <laughs> the only thing funnier than poop is odd pooping. <laughs> Where's my bunnies at? <laughs> oh, jeez. That shit. Oh, man. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah, I see what you did there. I didn't even mean to. Are you drooling? No, I'm bleeding out of my nose. 
Oh, okay. But it's not sense. blooded boogers. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> but I'm bleeding boogers out of my nose. Oh my god, that was too much. That was funny. I don't know what it is. The very moment that we came up with freaking on poop, every time, every time it's just freaking so We funny. have, we have, uh, we have friends that just, like, legitimately will stop us from saying, like, we'll say, oh, just I, I, I would consider them a frenemy, not necessarily a friend. Oh, no, all of them do it. Oh, do they all do that? They I thought that at least one of them One about of them things. got angry about it, but the other ones were like, let's not talk about that. So now I have a meme that I, it's like unshitting or something like that, that I just post every time. It's like, oh, unpoop came up. Okay, here you go. And they're like, Google. I was like, okay, Google, unpoop. I thought my, oh, I thought my Google was gonna do something, but it didn't. And mine's not plugged in, unfortunately. Lame. But yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things that you go, why is this thing? And the other thing is, is like, I swear my Google history on my Google Home is probably got the weirdest thing because I ask it stupid questions. I mean, I think that's the point of having a Google Home, is it's to just, true. like, lower your base intellect level, because you can just ask the internet. Yeah, if my if the internet was, was like, if, if the status of, like, my life was based on the internet, it would be, like, <laughs> it, it, like, it would essentially be, like... You'd be a drilling monkey owned by Bobo the Clown named Lemon the Monkey. Oh, wait, shit, you are. Uh, you know... You don't have to tell everyone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't have to tell everyone. But, um... Uh, I just think that in terms of... I don't know where we were going with this, but we should probably get back on some sort of topic. You were talking about on pooping and how we have a group of friends that we play D&D with. Yeah, I, I know that. I just despise the fact that we came up with that. I know. Honestly, well, the the entire thing started too, because uh, someone told us about the uh, command spell. Yeah. How you could pick that up with a with a feat. I forgot and you about could that. Learn command. And so I was like, well, what is like the most debilitating thing you could do to someone? And we're like, oh yeah, huh? P. And you're like, oh okay. So like, if they they're like P, it was like, well, it has to be a one word thing that like they can resist, but. Like, if they fail the check, then, like, they pretty much have to do. So it was, like, we were coming up with things like, oh, orgasm. Like, haha, you did you orgasm in public. And then I was like, oh, wait, you know what would be worse? What if you had to on poop? And it, and it started a whole trend. But the other thing that's really <laughs> funny is, oh, remind me to, add to write down where was so I, uh can add that to our D D campaign because that would be hilarious. you like that idea i really like the that where idea. dude the where was it's like our first organic character the, yeah. the where was is going to become more famous than either one of us i know that's right? what's going to happen maybe maybe if we get if we get fans of the channel you guys can all be our where was maybe that's what yeah. we'll call our fans well, like they're the people who like the the people who who meme our channel called where was yeah well like that'll be like our big fan base thing we're getting ahead of ourselves but it would be funny yeah, I mean, yeah, but still, but yeah. So that's how that's how uh, that's how I'm pooping became a thing because I was, and the thing is, is like whenever we're talking in that chat, whenever we're like making fun of someone in particular, they inevitably show up in the middle of me saying something messed up about them. Yes. And we were talking about our friend who was like the first DM that got us kind of like pretty acquainted with playing the game again. Uh, was the person we were talking about, and uh. I'm in the middle of explaining, talking, telling, <laughs> talking about his character having to on poop, and he wasn't in the room because he went to go get something to eat or whatever, and he walks in right in the middle of my explanation. He's like, "You did you what?" He's like, "You realize that I can learn the command spell too," and I'm like, "Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's an unpooping battle!" Yeah, I, I, I mean, there would be some weird things that would happen with that, so. Getting into getting in, uh, not not even deterring from the lewdness that has been this <laughs> this video. Yes, the other thing that's crazy is like I don't know. I feel like the taboo sense of like unpooping. Speaking of the particular person who was so angry about it, um, like I don't understand that. I mean, just fucking don't listen then. <laughs> Yeah, get out of the chat. I know. Get out of the chat. You don't want to freaking hear it. I'm going to keep talking about it because I think it's freaking funny. 
and everyone and else I, was like, okay, whatever, they're everybody, weird. Yeah, everybody else, like, maybe not was on, like, super on board with the conversation topic, but, I mean, a none of them were laughed. sitting there telling me to shut up. Yeah, a few people except laughed. Except for this one person. Yeah. And yeah, and a few people laughed. A few people really got into it, too. A few people did get they into were the Because they were trying they were to like, think oh, about, no, like, how does that even work? Yeah, exactly. Like, they were trying to explain it out. Like, like oh, no, that wouldn't work in the command spell because of this. And we're like, but it's unpooping. <laughs> right, and I guess technically it's a made-up word, but still. That's true. But it's a fun word. <laughs> it is. Like squeegee, but better. But, yeah, so, so that was... That was a thing, I guess. And I I enjoyed it, except for the the one person that was just sitting there yelling at me. That's like, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to mute myself. I'm going to mute you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, mute yourself. Then. Or freaking leave. I don't want you in this chat room anyways. I don't freaking even like you. So, Blech. you know, you can go jump off of a bridge for all I care. And then everyone will follow. Hopefully just only the people I hate. Well, if they're, but yeah, I am a high ender, so you know, if they if they go and kill themselves, I'll scavenge the carcass. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like yes, and I I have a meat locker full of corpses. I don't know how half these people died, but I don't really care. Oh, that's even worse. As a where was, imagine if I went and found a corpse and then <laughs> ate it, and then had another like stinky honker and. <laughs> <laughs> Back on the subject, are we? And then, and then, and then I went to bed, and then I had to go. <laughs> and then I had to go, like, regurgitate this corpse and go put it back where I found it. <laughs> like, oh no. Oh man. The police are like, what the hell? Oh man. The where gotta... was the where was concept is just sort of the, the, tweaked. The thing that's really funny about this too is like you're the like the where was is the only thing that's being affected by this. So the <laughs> fact that someone just watching this person walk backwards and then vomit out a body is kind of hilarious. To me. It's on CCTV. Yeah, it's on CCTV. It's just like in the back of like an alley, and they're just like, it's just like <laughs> and there's walk just backwards. there's just the to the diner and like and they're like oh, oh they're man. like watching this video and they're like whoa what kind of amazing mythical creature is that it looks like a mixture of a hyena and a panda i'm I gonna know, call what? it a hyena they're like it's hyena bitch and then and then they see me regurgitating a body back and they're in like, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna talk about this <laughs> That's yeah. I'm, I'm a Hyanda and I'm a werewolf. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's this is potentially the best thing we've ever created. That's gonna be amazing. I definitely enjoy werewolves. Can you imagine if you had eleven and a half kids and then you wear werewolves and like it like so you had the baby? Oh no, dude! Moon. If you had if, if <laughs> yeah, it's the full moon. <laughs> Um, no, no. I, I mean, like I said, I want, I want, I want my, my, my beautiful gaping hole to be the size of Stargate. I want people just warping in and out. So, I mean, I guess that. I guess, I guess it out. I guess at some point, at some point in that, in that, um, in that event. It would begin to be painful, but be around <laughs> around around the beginning, uh, it would be fine. But once everything's like reverted to uh, a natural, uh, a more natural state, uh, it probably wouldn't feel that great. I'm just like imaging like. Also, like how fast? I guess I need to figure out a little bit more about my lineage because, like, how fast do you know high high end a pup? Like grow up. cubs, they would be pretty small. Cubbies? At least Cubbies? pandas, pandas, panda uh, cubs are very, very small. Okay, well then I guess that wouldn't necessarily be possible. Because they're like they're like they would be able to fit in your palm. Because panda pups are very, er, yeah, cubs are very, very small. What about what about hyenas? I don't know on that one, but I would assume they'd be fairly small too because this tends to be an animal kingdom thing. Okay, well then, then I, I would probably just be fine. Yeah. 
Unless you were in your human form, then it would suck. Oh no. Yeah. No! If I if I gave birth to like human form panda babies, that that wouldn't be very fun. You 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 humans are like very unlucky when it comes to like birth of children. Like they're huge. It's I wouldn't true. want that compared, coming out of or going to like, into me. Compared to where like the size of whatever it is. Yeah, like if I have like you know if if I had like panda cubs, then they could like you know freaking walk out while doing a jazz number or something. <laughs> but like like humans, that's like. The size of your abdomen. There's a reason that, like, humans died a lot in their, like, past. Like, in the past without antiseptic and stuff like that. Like, they would actually die in childbirth. It was a thing. So, well, and, and, and especially when there's complications and stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, it still happens, so. I mean, that's true. And, and they even have things like, you know, like C-sections and shit. Yeah. Where they you, literally, you, you like, don't cut hear, that crap out of you. You don't hear, like... Ling Ling the panda died in childbirth today. Like, it do you don't hear that. <laughs> yeah, you're more like, Ling Ling the panda gave birth to a baby wearing a top hat and a cane, dancing its way out of her cooter. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to use as many, like, G-rated words for as many nasty, dirty parts that I can think of. The father yeah. had this to say. Eh. <laughs> the father had this to say. <laughs> Yes, Chewbacca was the father. <laughs> Chewbacca was the father. We have a new species of panda, somehow. No, oh, oh, oh. One with posable thumbs. What would you call that? A, a Wakanda? A, 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 a pookie? A, a pookie. A, a, a pookie, yeah. A panky. A panky. A panky. <laughs> a panky. A panky. A panky. A panky. I like pookie, because it sounds dirty. <laughs> a pookie. You just want to get into my pookie? I just like I just think uh, gross. Um, I just was thinking to myself like like cause, cause like if the panky was like was like oh yeah put it right in my pookie. It's like okay. That see that goes back to redefining what does cookie mean? What part of your body is your cookie? I don't know. I I, I would assume it's a vagina, but I don't know. So what would be your pookie? Pookie would also would be a panda vagina, right? Sure. So that's my pookie. I want to, all, all the all the people out there want to want to play with my pookie. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, angry monkeys! You, you don't want to no play idea. with my pookie. No, I don't. Pookie. But on the bright side, there's no bright. Side. <laughs> there's no bright. Side. <laughs> The funny thing is, is like I'm focusing way more on the conversation than the gameplay. The gameplay is really just an afterthought. But like, I feel like I feel like you guys aren't gonna believe I'm on legend mode because I'm still managing to win. I don't know. Every match also starts off with me just getting absolutely royally just destroyed for a couple of minutes. You guys enjoying that content? You just just want to watch me destroy my pookie. I just I just thought of like Bill Compton saying Pookie and it was amazing to me. Oh my god. Pookie. Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently like... that shows for gay rich people, so Yes, it's it is. If you don't if you don't know what it is, you're probably not gay or rich or no, both. Or both. I think you have to be yeah. a combination. I think you have to be a combination. Right, or right. at least bi. Like you, you, you have think, to be you think that would work? I don't know. I'm not bi. Technically. Could you be middle class and that is? No. No. You have to be rich. You have to be one or the other, right? You have to be rich and at least a little bit interested in the opposite in the in the same sex. Which I am, but You'll never know what I am. I'm a monkey. Yeah, nobody needs to know what he is. Everyone it, it, wants it to is know. what the monkey is. He's a he's a lemon, okay? That's all you need to know. He's lemon the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the, the Ivan Ooze thing popped in my head. All you need is a little bit of Ivan's Ooze. And it's just like, what does that have to do with anything? I want to draw... We need to draw me with a jar... Of... of never mind. <laughs> I was like, all you need is Hyanda Ooze. And I'm like, this is just... This is just insinuating that I'm selling jars of my own cum. <laughs> <laughs> and my gum is gelatinous ooze. 
<laughs> and and there is so you might corner the market there. I probably would take that I mean, gamer girl bathwater. I was gonna say. I mean, if people can women can sell uh, bathwater and farts and bleh. Why like why couldn't you sell that? <laughs> that I just don't <laughs> understand the way you said it. <laughs> I just don't understand like. I mean, I under I, I know how you would collect it, but it's just like, why though? I, I like to milk my pookie. Okay, well, <laughs> keep that in the locker room. Keep that. It's just not. She's just a laughing room cat. She's laughing room cat, guys. But yeah, um, I can't. I can't do a a, a Trumpster. I wasn't even doing a Trump voice. I was just being stupid. Um, oh well, he was the one that got like. Freaking popular for the locker room talk to you. Yeah, because he was like, he was like, it's just like a room cat guys. Oh, there you go. Room. There you go. And it's just like, it's just a terrible thing. But like, I mean, he's not wrong. I never spent enough time in a locker room to know that, but I, he's not wrong. We were usually the away team, and we were a really small team, and uh, so we didn't get to use the the male locker room. So they usually put us in the women's locker room for team meetings and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was too busy trying to break into all the girls' lockers. <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> I would like be like, oh, I'll be right out to start the game. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. Are any of these open? <laughs> See, for me, uh, I, don't re I, don't, I don't remember. This happens. This is a real thing. So anybody out there that's in, in that demographic. Just know that if your school is like freaking mean enough to put a small school in the women's locker room, that, that there's at least one person doing that. That's true, but um, I I, I wouldn't doubt it. I would. Unfortunately for me, it was. Or you. fortunately for me, fortunately for me, uh, it was me. See, see, I never, I didn't do sports because I'm uh. Not You're a person. monkey. You're not allowed to do human sports. Well, yeah, that's true, but you know, it didn't mean I didn't. I didn't try. I didn't try, but um. I think the only sport I ever did... It would uh, also be unfair because you, you can use your tail as an extra hand or some shit. That's true. And, like, that's why I got kicked off of the soccer team. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? It, that it's, makes it's sense. Really, it's really funny when you're when you're running with a bunch of children and you just, like... And they're like, oh, I'm kicking the ball. And you're like, yoink, with your tail. It's amazing. Yeah, and the tail is... It's, like, opposable, right? So, like, you can use it as a hand. Pretty much. I mean, like, it's like, like Ampom, but not stupid looking. Yeah, he is kind of... It's kind of a bad design. Yeah, but I do like. He's it. classic. He's classic, and he's a monkey. Yeah. So, and he's purple. Yeah. So, so my favorite I mean, color. like you know that. that yeah, I was just gifted with the name Lemon, so you know it's it's a thing. Yeah, purple lemon. Yeah. It's just kind of weird. But um, purple lemon, whatever. Um, but like it was so it was such a shitty like thing, especially like when you're playing goalie in soccer or football football depending on where you're from and uh and people are like no you can't use you can't it's like no hands and they're just like this is my tail bitch <laughs> yeah yeah see i was gonna say well at least you're a goalie though yeah because well, as as as, too, as, yeah. as the goalie you can use your hands yeah that's true but if you were like you know any other position would they would they call a penalty on you using your tail they did not so okay so it did not count as hands even though no. you could technically just grab the ball and run with it yeah they just kind of were like um why is there a monkey on the playing field <laughs> pretty much ah, so you weren't you weren't officially a team it's not like you stole a jersey or anything you just ran out there to steal the ball well my father the mad scientist clown that he was uh, mad um, scientist clown was uh was very uh these are these adamant are on getting me involved in the uh the sports at the time uh unfortunately for him, I did not have any any interest in being a scientist nor a sports person, but I definitely became a clown. Yeah, that's true. Thanks for agreeing. I appreciate it. It's okay. I don't remember. I don't know how my parents got together, and I really don't want to know. But apparently, I was conceived on a waterbed, which is freaking weird because claws and penises and I mean, so many things that could just pop the bed. I'm also wondering how. Uh, like, so, which one? Which one was which? The which one was the male and which one was the female? Just I like definitely would have to say that my father was probably the hyena. Just, just knowing him. How does it make him feel that he, uh, that his, uh, that that he is in a uh, 
in a and and like the hierarchy of his of his race, uh, the women are more important and also have a penis too. Honestly, I don't think it would surprise him if he was sentient enough enough to uh, realize that. Fair. I, oh, I feel the like, gift I feel of like... sentience is so <laughs> weird. I feel like uh, he'd be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, this is normal." See, that's what happens when, like, when, when, like, two animals decide to mate and, like, a weird sexual thing, and for some weird reason, their offspring becomes sentient and able to become human. It's very odd. It's like Pinocchio, but weird. Actually, I was, I was, uh, cursed by the voodoo shaman. Oh, you too. Into having sentience, yeah. That's, that's actually why I have sentience. We were, uh, deep in the bowels of Africa. I love the way that word so much. <laughs> I know I wanted to use it, and uh, we were deep in the bowels of Africa when uh, I was born in unholy abomination, under the um, care. Would you say captivity mm. of uh, a bunch of like weird voodoo cannibal tribe people, and uh, they wanted a, a, a monster of vengeance, and uh, I was not that. Yeah, I, I was uh, cursed into having sentience after they bred two creatures that should have nothing to do with each other. The other thing that's really funny about that, too, to me, is uh, is that they, they, they did this. And also, the only... This is horrible, but the only voice I can think of that, like, of the shaman that probably did this is uh, Kwame from uh, fucking... Uh, The Planeteers. <laughs> Let our powers combine. I'm like, oh my god, that's so racist. Actually, I remember some of the some of the voodoo spell and some of the words. Yeah. It was uh, ooh ee, ooh ah ah. I would thought you were gonna say mecha like a high like a high high ho, but okay, that works too. Uh, it was a ting tang waddle waddle bing bang. Yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure that was the beginning of the incantation. And he told, and, and they told the witch doctor. They told him what to do. That's true. That's true. I would, yeah. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. It was just a, a really terrifying time to not know if I was bipedal or quadrupedal, and coming into sentience at such a young age, surrounded by so really and, weird and that, uh, white face painted, like like. You know how doing blackface is a problem? So, not to... Well, these guys were doing whiteface, and I don't know if that's supposed to be a problem. Isn't there, isn't there a song by Bart Baker? But, um... <laughs> but the thing is, is, like, I really just gotta ask, like... To get off the topic of parents, because... So, what was your mom? You... Your, your your dad's a hobo clown and your mom or he mad was a scientist mad clown. scientist clown yeah and, and your and, and your mom I learned most of what, all my English and things like that from my mother um, I was adopted obviously because I'm a monkey and my parents are not um, I actually learned English by eating a guy okay there Alex Mercer but uh <laughs> I mean it's true I didn't know English all I knew was <laughs> what <laughs> I grew up in Africa. How do you think we speak? Oh, I, I didn't. I don't. I don't know. Actually, me neither. It was probably really racist. <laughs> I thought you were actually like emulating like your actual voice and like whatever your high end of tongue is, but um. No, that was my best African. That was how are you today, sir? <laughs> I couldn't even keep a straight face with that one. <laughs> how are you today, sir? It's like. It's like, wow, we we have turned into South Park. So the honorifics, <laughs> the honorifics, yes. Yeah, that's a very big part. It's like, uh, it's like it also like it also depends on how you how you actually like where your where your nose is at the time. So if you go, it's true. Like, there are certain things that I can't articulate because of my snout. Yeah, that's true. It sounds like I'm like a hillbilly slinging it out. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like uh, it's like a mixture between like. Texan and Alabaman. The Alabaman is definitely like it's it's more like deep Louisiana. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But in Africa, okay. So you know, umbapa. 
<laughs> I will not get over how funny that is to me. <laughs> that is, uh, if if I'm if I said it right, that's what a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> you have such beautiful language. <laughs> Uh, what is that? Um, oh, you sound like a Genosian from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not bug people. We just do white face. Oh, okay. And thankfully, I was born with, with black and white on my face because I'm a Hyandas, so... Fair. I don't have to do either. That's that's true. You're just a despicable thing, I guess, by their standards. Also, a thing I found out is... is uh, if I eat living people, I gain an attribute from them. That's how that's how I gained the ability Who to are you, speak Dracula? English. I mean, no, but I think it's just the voodoo curse. No, oh, it might just be a thing that happens. That's fair. So you know, that that that's that, I've gained many a unique attribute. That's actually that's how I gained my human form. Fair. Apparently, apparently, I ate the Sorcerer's Apprentice. You ate Jay Labushi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think... I'm wondering why he wasn't in why movies. Why he hasn't been in I know I butchered his name, but it's funny anyway. You, you guys get what I mean. <laughs> Just snack-talking actors now. <laughs> Well, yeah, no, but I, I ate him. That's that's why I can become human. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I don't have to... I don't have to, like, really contort my spine to stand on two legs. So, out of sheer morbid curiosity, who else have you eaten? Who else? Well, okay, so I have English, and I have a human form, and I... L I think it's about it. I say play video games. Hmm. I must have eaten some kind of couch, some fat couch potato. Probably thought he was just a sack of meat. So I'm imagining a really fat nerd. Well, we know it's not Seth Rogen. Yeah, that's why. That's why fat nerds are, are, shouldn't wander alone at night. I didn't know. Just look, I didn't know fat nerds wandered at all. They just. I mean, they look like an appetizing like. Garbage sack full. Was he of just like? Meat. Was he just like riding like one of those like power things or like, eh, you know, like those things? Like or a like, Segway? Yeah, well, not a Segway, but like the like the what were like the old people ride in, like the little carts. Oh my god! Yeah, I was wondering what the weird honking noise was. Yeah, he was just like, eh, eh. I was like, oh okay. Well, I, I guess he he called. must have been unloading his groceries because all I heard was beep beep beep, and I was like, ooh, freaking red light special. On a sack of meat. Yes. Uh, oh, you got the happy ending, I guess, then, huh? I mean, he got an ending of sorts. That's good. That's good. At least he assisted in something with his life. Yeah, I... I... I, I guess... As from we some of, playing video games... From, and, from and some of the around. memories that I uh, retained... Apparently, he was in the middle of... He was about to start a raid in World of Warcraft. Oh, good God. He's not missing much. No, no. He was He was apparently, like, planning on doing a... a what do they... What do these call it? A... a Leroy? Oh, uh, Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he was planning on doing to his raid party. Wow, what a terrible human being. Yeah, his car was just full of hot pockets. Of course it was. Probably a little bit of Mountain Dew in there too. Oh so, yeah, um, yeah, it monster. Gamer actually. fuel. Yeah. Yeah, uh, monster and gamer fuel. That is uh, that is quite unfortunate. Well, the good news is no one will miss him. It's true. The bad news is, I don't think there's any bad news out there. I mean, there's really not. He gurgled up real nicely. You should have heard him like. The noises he made while he was in my stomach. Which sounds like a beautiful opera of stuff. It was interesting. It was interesting. He was begging for his life. He's like, Arr! and then eventually he accepted it. This is how I die. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I feel like somewhere near the end he started enjoying it, which was weird. I don't know if that's just like the nerve endings burning off. 
I don't know. I've heard that, like, when you're drowning, eventually, like, it, you, your body just gives into it and says, okay, this is happening, and you just go into, like, a mellow state. I've heard that. I don't know if it's actually true, but I've heard it. That's probably what was happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was probably submerged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the bright side, um, you told me that you had a dream at one point, or recently. What, what was that about? Oh, okay, so... It was, it was even actually just last night. Uh -oh. oh, really? So I've been playing a lot of this WWE game. And apparently my, my brain decided to go into, like, My Hero Academia Wrestling, <laughs> which was really weird. That's really bizarre. But there was, like, some villain that was turning fans into, like, into, like, wrestling villains. But they were, like, part of a cult. So it kind of reminded me of, like, the DMP in, um, in uh, Ultimate Muscle. Yeah, that makes sense. Tell me more about that, Doc. <laughs> yeah. And, um... And for some reason, like, I was playing as, as uh, Deku. Mm -hmm. But, like, he got gender-swapped by, like, some... Like, there was a part of the storyline where, like, all the male characters got gender-swapped. And it was, like, the weirdest thing to me. And I don't, I don't know why it happened <laughs> or whatever. But it was, like, it wasn't even, like, the girls got turned into guys. But it was, like, all the guys got turned into girls. So just everybody in My Hero Academia was a girl. And yeah. I was like, okay, well, why? Why is my dream doing this to me? And then they all have to fight, like, weird vampire DMP ultimate muscle people. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought it was kind of interesting. I gotta know, was there a shoe involved? You know, I didn't get to see a lot of, uh, of, like, the random... Like, they were all just, like, hooded cultists. Did any of them shoot vegetables? Uh, so the, the, like, main guy, mm. I guess, he did have, like, Krusty the Clown hair. <laughs> That's hilarious. Which is kind of weird, but it was blue. That so he had, like, weird. white skin and, like, dark black eyes, like, rings around his eyes. And then he just had, like, blue clown hair. That's really weird. Yeah, and he had, like, a really chiseled face. It was super rectangular. And I was like, huh, okay, well, this is happening, I guess. Exactly. I actually really wanted to go back to bed when I woke up this morning because I was like, I need to see where this dream's going. Because I don't know what my mind is even. It, it's, it's at odds because it's not even. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. See what I did there? Oh, I did. <laughs> I just chose to ignore it. Oh. I know. I'm a horrible this person. Making an even and odds joke. I know. Evening the odds. I'm evening the odds. Two years. Okay. Equals three years. Ago. You know, the other thing that's really interesting about, like, I, I didn't have, like, a dream that I remember anyway. You know, monkey problems. But, um. Freaking monkey brains. Monkey brains. But I do remember that, um. Oh my god, Charlotte. Yeah, she looks um, like a peacock. She is a peacock. But I don't know why she. I don't know why, like, the. Like, speaking of, like, peacocks i don't know why human women decide that like in in theatrical things that they need to be male peacocks for um for like their costumes and stuff i'm like guys why don't you be the ugly like brown ones those 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 the girl ones like be, show your show, show a little pride but they're like no i am equal or something i don't know it's just really confusing to me also, why do male peacocks let them steal their feathers? I mean, I think everyone aspires to be the ugly duckling. I don't aspire. I am. Therefore, I am. I don't know. You are the ugly monkling? Uh, yes. I am an ugly duck monkling. I don't know what I'm talking about. You're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the fugly monkling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So fugly. I'm so fugly. Fugly monkling. For some reason, he smells like a dog. That's because I'm around you. Oh, that's what it is. Second glance, my bad. Yeah, you yeah, jerk. Yeah, I sweat when I sleep. I am a sweat. But, I, also, uh, I also eat carcasses for whole human beings. It's a pretty regular part of my diet. Well, that's good. Give them some purpose. Yeah. You need to become a, a part of something great. Yes. You know, the other thing that's really interesting about, like, that particular thought process is, like, 
in case you guys don't know, what we're uh, what we're talking about is gore, basically. Um, we're just like or it's... or in Japanese, amu namu namu nam. Or in your native tongue. You didn't make enough clicks. There, there you go. That was it. Yeah, that that was that was gore in, in uh That was uh that was, that was actually Eva's... specifically I am quite fascinated by Borophilia. I didn't know I said it that way. I'm yeah, yeah, you myself. were you were very proper. I'm pretty proud of myself. But yeah, uh Diva Diva and I are into more uh me not as much, but like I definitely it has a special place in my heart. And, and I may or may not be obsessed entirely, consumed by Poor choice of words. Anyway. Great choice of words. Uh, but I just had to quote that one thing. But, uh, aha! I did another one! Um, no, you did. Well, That's I... a quota. Oh, yeah. I was going to do the buha thing, but I was like, oh, no, I can't do that. I've already done enough quotes. That's true. Okay, so what were you saying? Um, but with the with the war thing, like, it's... A lot of... Well, we've been watching some other YouTubers recently who, uh... Who have uh, brought it up to like it should become more mainstream, or at least you shouldn't be ashamed to talk about your fetishes. Yeah, we're trying should... to try to get the taboo out of your fetish. Yeah. So like, yes, you probably shouldn't talk about it like at your your day job, obviously, but like, you shouldn't you're... be afraid to talk about it with like your partner or whoever you're with, you know, it, it or even friends. Like it's it's not a thing that you should worry about, but. I feel like it should be normal. I feel like it should be normal. Like, you know, like, sometimes you run out of a conversation topic, you know, and be like, hey. Porn. What do, you, what do you think about, you know, someone sitting on your face? Yeah, it's like, and these are conversations that Diva and I have with multiple people on a regular basis. Um, we just, it's just not taboo for us. I also blame myself for that because I will, I'm that guy who just like, who's just like, hey. You ever wanted a shit for me type thing? Like, I'm that guy. Like, I just am. Like, I want, you know, I'm not going to bring it up on, like, a first date or something like that. Or even really in general, like, a lot. But, like, it's something that, like, I talk about with people when I get to know them well enough. And, like, even then, like, sometimes I just bring it up just to get people to leave me alone. <laughs> and I remember a time before, like, we were super close where... Mm -hmm. I was like almost ashamed yeah of being like a vorophile like there were only like very select people that I would ever talk to about it yeah and like it was typically people I would role play with yeah and like I don't know it felt like it felt like if you were like a like closeted anything like you know your gender identity was something different that people weren't expecting from you or like your your sexual orientation was something that people weren't expecting from you it, it felt it felt like freaking dirty. Yeah. And I didn't, and it was not fun to just sit there and feel like you were persecuting yourself. Yeah. And like, um, I'm personally into Ephro or Ephro. I don't know how you say it exactly, like what the acronym. Um, but like, uh, for what? Uh, it's erotic female relieving observance or something like that. Oh, okay. Relief observing something along those lines. I actually don't remember what the R stands for, but um, that's like my thing. Uh, it's it's very close to like voyeurism, but because um, I'm not like into like scat specifically. Um, You're into the voyeuristic. I'm part into of the it, voyeuristic right? part of it. I am just as happy watching it on on like a, on a video stream than I am being doing it in person. So like, but I don't like eating it. I don't like you know. Rubbing it on any—that's not my like thing. interacting with. Yeah, it it's it's very, it's very much like not like not like that. It's very much like for me, the aspect that I like is uh, is being able to um, to like watch it. It's like it's like the taboo, like going back to that thought process. The taboo is what's interesting to me. Like, oh, you're not supposed to do this. Uh, or this is un this is not acceptable by society standards. It's, it's naughty. It's naughty. Yeah, like exactly. That's like what is interesting to me about it. But like, um, be so naughty watching me go poo poo pee pee. Yeah, seriously. And like the thing is, is like I've had many a partner, um, who, like I mean, not to say like that I've had. But anyway, um, 
I've had I have had quite a few partners that like are uh, more than willing to do that kind of stuff, and uh, actually I can't think of one that isn't or hasn't been. Um, I'm not with anyone right now, but um, if you want to poop for lemon, su submit a video in the comment section. I really like as <laughs> as as, as interesting, and like and subscribe <laughs> as 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 nice as that is for you to say, Diva. Like, I am not, like, I, I have to, like, it, 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 I like it better when I know the person. It's, it's different. Like, okay, well, if you want to be a tasty treat for a panda, then leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Yes, that, that is true. I will also be in, involved in that eating process if, if, uh, if you, if, you know, if you want to be eaten by a, a monkey, that's, that's a thing, too. But, um. It's true. It's true. If, if any of you are, uh, are in Devor and you want to be a prey, then, uh. Let us know. The other thing is, too, is when it comes to prey, I do permadeath people, just so everyone knows. If you uh, if you are in Devor, you know what that means. If you don't, if you're not in Devor or are interested in Devor, permadeath just basically means that you your character doesn't come back to life. I'm very particular about that um, because um, when it comes to like my 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 uh, my alter ego being gang. Um, which is my predvor, or my predvor, my pred character. Um, hey, you he literally is, only just said that backwards. You're vor pred. Yeah, vor pred. That's what I meant to say. But my vor pred, he is very. Um, he's he's a flying monkey, or flying gorilla. But he, uh, because because everyone he eats, he gains an attribute from, like we talked about before. It doesn't make sense for them to come back to life. So. Um, so that's like really important to that particular character. So like if if you if you want me to bore you, cool, but you gotta like if it's Ding Gang doing it specifically, you can't play that character again. That's just like kinda my rule, I guess. You know what, and if that's a thing and we get any like uh like good like likes or anything, I guess, or comments or anything, maybe we'll even do war audios for you guys. We'll do yeah. some like war ASMR. Yeah, with, with some of our characters. Because like I, uh, I've done vor like readings with like well not readings, but I've done vor uh, role play. Because uh, I always do vor role play role play voice vocally because I tend to have very descriptive ways of talking about eating my my prey. So um, that's very important. Uh, I feel like. Typing it out is fine and dandy, but like, like the text base is fine, but it's not my style because I like to like, I like to feel like that I'm turning the person on. Like it's very important to me that I like even like even in any sort of sexual encounter, I'm very it's very important to me that both parties are having fun because I don't believe that one person should be good and the other person should not. Even if it's like, oh yeah. I'll put all, you know, I'll, I'll, like, make you feel good, but I don't need to feel good. I'll be like, no, that's not worth it. Because if you're not feeling good, then there's no point. That's how okay. I feel about it. I 100% anyway. agree. I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I feel like the role play is all about. It's, it's both of you fulfilling a fantasy through. It's a mutual and... story. Yeah, it's mutual. It's, it's just how, like, any, like, fetish-based thing I feel like should be. Yeah. It's not just like it's know. it's it's very funny because I come from fetishes that are very voyeuristic. It's funny that we're talking one... about fetishes and you said I come. <laughs> That's true too. But where um, you come from? I come from a uh, a very voyeuristic thing where it's one sided. Where like. And even when oh, we're... that's true. That's yeah. true. And and that's very much against my nature, which is like when like which is why getting to know the person is important to me, like when when it comes to that kind of stuff, because uh, I want to make them feel good too somehow and like if like and that's it's very important to me it's very important to me even in a voyeuristic setting so even if like they're sending me videos or whatever i'm like okay well what do you want because that's important to me but like and i'm specifically into women when it comes to the voyeurism thing just just so everybody knows um and like nothing against like people who are transgender or men or whatever it's just where i'm at um now, when it comes to Vor, on the other hand, I am open to everyone. <laughs> um, so, 
Mm-hmm. When it when it comes to Vor, mm-hmm. and like my preferences, if we're gonna just give everybody like details, I'm pretty much open to absolutely anything. Uh, I'll be prey. I'll be pred. I think the only thing I'm not like super into personally is like hard war. Um, at least I don't really want to hear descriptions or see pictures of that. Mm. I don't really care for chewing and stuff. And, I don't like, like chewing, gnashing people up, and like yeah. In in that kind of way, disposal is fine if it's a swollen waste. Um, I don't typically do permavore. I'm open to the idea, but I'm also not gonna pray for permavore unless I have a character specifically that I have in mind for doing that with. Mm-hmm. Um, I am into absorption, digestion, uh, sentient fat, you know, reformation, like soft dimension, soft digestion, uh, endo, like pretty much anything. Um, but yeah, like typically I, I pray, I'm way more prey, but I, I have been dabbling in in being a pred, and I feel like this form of mine is pretty perfect for it. The other thing I was gonna say too, I mean, is, I, I'm, uh, I'm like a seven foot tall hyanda. I don't think yeah, many the, many people are going to be able to consume me, but they definitely would fit in my stomach. Yeah, and look pretty good squirming around as just a bulge. The other thing that's really interesting is um, I want to get um, an endoscope for us anyway, like a medical one. Yeah, those would be cool. That would be really cool to just like have. Um, obviously, we can't post it on YouTube, but like, I don't know. Maybe it could be a Patreon thing. I don't know. Hey, maybe Patreon. Maybe we could even live stream something where we're putting where we'd have that on Twitch. Just putting that yeah. into one of our, our mouths or something yeah exactly just like something it'll probably be me because i think you have a bigger i have worse gag reflex i have a horrible gag reflex so like but like yeah it, it just like it just something like that would be really really cool because like i i don't know it's just, it's just like that kind of stuff for like you know fans or whatever like the 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 general group of people that we we you know find our fetish life in it just makes sense to try and um try and like make that spread the love spread the love yeah because Let's like make it not weird yeah like it shouldn't be weird it should it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be something that you're like oh i have to go hide in the bathroom and not tell my wife about it or whatever the hell you know or my husband or whoever like it's just like your partner like it's or my friend or whatever. It, you you shouldn't have to do that. Like honestly, I'm not, I'm not saying that they need to freaking explore it with you. No, they but, don't. But but you know, they're... it's not very hard for them to open their mouth in front of your eyes and breathe in your face. Yeah. If you're into being a prey. Yeah. The other thing is too is like that's kind of the same thing with like like the same idea with like watching someone eat. Like, that kind of thing. I, that's not something I'm into, but I've heard that other people are. Some people are into the mouth play aspect yeah, of it, mouth like, play very thing. a lot. Like, where, like, I did have, I, I had a, a little moment where, like, I, I had a hard time watching people eat because it would just make me think mm-hmm. about it. But then, like, the more I discovered, like, I'm not into hard war, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, well, this yeah. totally doesn't turn me on because look it's at how much thing. chewing and gnawing and gnashing yeah. would have to go on you know like how many bones would break like you wouldn't even get to enjoy the, the ride the, the down one, the esophagus yeah the one that like is the most problematic to me i guess if i had to choose like a food is like ice cream and pudding okay because like stuff actually, you can almost well, swallow whole, well like, yeah jello. things that you can jello yeah things that just melt in your mouth like it's just like oh okay because you hear the gulp and things like that it's very important. oh anything that makes you gulp mm-hmm. I guess even for that sake, like, if people are, like, slurping broth or ramen. Or soda. I, I gulped soda, but mainly because uh, I, I like the sound. I, I it's, it's a turn-on. So I do it just because it's, it's fascinating and feels good. Big, deep gulps. Maybe we'll do some ASMR and have some gulping noises. That'd be cool. But the thing is, is, like, in another video, but the thing is, is like, we, we definitely, like... We we agree with some uh, some of the other YouTubers YouTubers we talk to or we haven't talked to but we we would love to talk to we would love to talk to but I'll even shout her out Victoria 
Yeah. Talk and to Victoria, me. I couldn't remember her name. I apologize. But um, Victoria is, uh, is like, I, I love the fact God that... Victoria she, the Sun Eater. That she is so, like, all about the whole Vore community. Because that's where we're at, too. And we were like, oh, that's inspiring. She, so, Yeah, she literally inspired us to do this video. Yeah. And we're so, gonna start trying to get into VTubing and make models and stuff. But for right yeah. now, it's just gonna be audio and uh and some gameplay. And some gameplay. Until we figure out models and stuff and doing yeah. some concept arts and drawings. Yeah. But uh it will debut eventually. Yep. But in the meantime, you guys can enjoy our uh, our weird voices and monkey and hyena you know, hijinks. It's true. We get to hear all about the weirdness that is uh our lives. Yes. And, and our sense of humor. Yeah, our sense of humor is that of, like, uh, you put it in your butt. Uh, is that of, like, a 12-year-old. I said that before, but, like, it's it's pretty, pretty juvenile. But, I mean, we had this whole on pooping. We came out with a where was. Yeah, we came out with a where was in this video. video. I'm sorry, that, that's just, that's as, as juvenile as it gets, pretty much. Especially where we took it. Yeah, where we took it, it could have just been, like, this weird abstract concept of, you have to travel backwards in time. Yeah, and, like, like you just retrust your steps. You but we went step, immediately but... to pooping, vomiting, eating, like, just all that sort of stuff. And I was like, we just went and straight fetishy with it, didn't yeah. we? I didn't even realize that that's, like, immediately where my mind... My mind is always on for. Like, if, if it comes right down to it, it's literally, I think about it at almost every God-given moment. I... See, because, like, we were talking, like, speaking of this, like... I, I don't understand that mentality because, like, I am not always, I'm not always, like, sexually charged. Like, I'm just not. Um, I may have a male monkey body, but I am not, like, I'm not into that kind of thing. I'm just not. I'm just, like, I think it's partially because I want the other person to have fun. So it's just, like, not, it's not important to me unless the other person is having fun. Yeah. So, like, so for me, um, I don't get, like, random boners or whatever, or random times of, like, where I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm really, whatever. Like, there has to be something that, like, actually happens in advance that actually, like, makes it obvious. Like, there's some, like, there, we were working in a place, uh, where there was this, uh, this particular, um, person who, like, just would fart randomly. Oh my god, yeah. And uh, and for me, like, that was pretty attractive because I'm me. And I like the taboo stuff. And he would tell me about it and I would always, like, just barely miss the fart. Yeah. And I'd be like, what What do you, what, what do you mean that, that so-and-so farts all the time? He's like, no, literally, they'll go somewhere just to fart. And I'm like, yeah, not Good. the bathroom. Make, or make sure like you that. warn me because I am not into farts. Yeah. So I do not want to walk in a cloud of that. And then, you know, I gave them their break one day because I was the the like manager shift person lead at thing? the time. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and they're just they're like, all right, well, I'm gonna go on break. I'm like, cool. Uh, I'll be here. Let me just let me know when you get back. And they're like, okay. And. They decided to freaking leave me with a fart behind the register, and I'm like, oh my god! And so I freaking I freaking text Lemon, and I'm like, she, she does fart everywhere! <laughs> and I was like, it was the nastiest fart I have ever freaking smelled, and I'm not into farts, like I said, so I don't think they smell good in general. And I walked back there, and I'm like, oh! And I had a customer come up, so I'm sitting there, like, my nose wrinkling. I'm in human form, trying to keep it together. Yeah. Oh, man. I've felt, like, my nose hairs singeing off. Yeah, it was, uh, it, like, it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> and, like, and so, yeah, those are the kind of things that, like, turn me on. But I still don't, like, get, get, like, aroused by it, per se. Um, I just, like, I just am like, oh, well, that's hot. And then, like, just leave it at that. Um, I have a lot of control over most of my faculties. I mean, like, my tail kind of does what it wants. But, like, um, but, like, in general, um, I have control over a lot of what, what it, like, what my body does. Because I just, I just, like, learned ways of controlling it as, as, as a, as a uh, young monkey, so it's just very important to me that I knew that. So, um, 
even going to human school, it was just like, it was a thing that I learned. Um, I don't. I don't. I, I feel lewd and horny at every given moment. But the thing is, is it sets it's such a natural state of 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 my life. I don't have unexpected problems. I was gonna say, like, that's really the gesture of the hyena in you, so Yeah, and and it's like, you know, I don't have I don't have weird issues where I'm like being a weird creeper or anything, but I can admire people's bodies in a in a more philic kind of way, I guess. Um where I'd be like, oh yeah. Like, even, like, some, some like, larger people are semi-attractive to me because it's like, wow, I could definitely fit in that stomach curled up. Mm. Yeah. And, like, for me, like, part of the reason that I like more is, is the pred, the pred aspect. Because, well, that's the main reason I like it, is the pred aspect. I'm not big into, um, being prey. Oh, I don't want to fight that. But... Um, I've I've been mainly prey since I discovered it. I, I discovered it through like snake videos of like if you guys know if you guys are indivore you guys probably know which ones I'm talking about. Um, probably how most people find it, but they were like really popular back in like in like junior high. So what? So it would have been like E bombs world, like is what it was originally on, right? Dude, I was okay. So the weirdest thing—it was like Vorville, yeah. I think dot com. Mm -hmm. So the weird thing, the weird. The, okay, we got a freaking. Okay, let's talk about our origin stories. Mm -hmm. you see what I did there? Yes. Origin I, story. I, I like, I like, that like it. I like it. Right. I like so, it. um, as that nerdy kid that like loved, I just loved singing and I loved anime, and so I would go online and I would look up um lyrics to anime songs. Mm -hmm. And one day while I was on, like, some site that obviously is less reputable, <laughs> if this is where I discovered my fetish, um, and just down at the bottom was an ad with this, with this, uh, this lady being eaten by a snake, just being swallowed whole, and I was like, in the middle of singing, I don't know, whatever Naruto theme song I was probably singing. Right. And, um, I saw that and I was like, whoa, what is that? So, like... I went and, like, what did I, I, I went on YouTube and I looked up, like, swallowed alive or eaten by a snake or something like that. Like, like weird tags that, like, you wouldn't use as a Vorophile when you know, like, what you're looking at. Um. And, yeah, and that got my rocks off. So I was like, all right, cool. Well, this is a thing I like now, I guess. That was fun to discover. And then I never sang or looked up Naruto lyrics ever again. Because I just look up war videos now. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I guess I was like... Probably like 16 or 15 at the time. Hmm. My, uh, my origin story is uh, a little bit less um, involved. Um, it's, it's, a lo it's, a long, it's, it's a longer process because I didn't realize I liked it until like recently. Like, within, like, the past year. But, um... Originally, D.Va... Like, I've, I've lived with D.Va for a very, very long time. And, um... And I, I've known her for quite a while. We've been best friends, symbiosis, whatever you want to call it. Um, pretty much inseparable for years. We're not we've, in a relationship We've actually or anything, but known we've... each other for so long mm -hmm. that you... That when we first met each other, I didn't even know what Vor was. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, like we were like four 13, years. we were like 13 or 12 yeah, when we it was met like, each other. It was like three or four years after we met that I actually even discovered what four was. Yeah. But anyway, so five, six years ago when um, when uh, Diva started talking to me about four and I was just like, oh, okay. Uh, this is also when I met um, one of our uh, one of our very famous four friends that I won't, I won't mention his name. But uh, you guys probably already know who he is. He's a popular Vore artist. He's a popular Vore popular artist. But anyway, um, so I met him, and uh, and we we all hit it off like a, like, a, like very well. He's a and part of the D and D group we play with. He's a part of the D and D group we play with, and uh, he um, 
and he started he started asking me about like what was my interest and stuff like that like kind of like what we're doing now but um i explained to him what my interests were so like that and he started and he drew a picture of like of one of my characters and i was like oh wow and like it really like made me interested and that was the beginning of my long uh degradation into horophilia <laughs> degradation um but uh but it was so funny because um i just like that was a long time ago and when when he uh when he got me involved in it um i started like getting more interested and then diva started showing me more and more more things and i started to like like look at it on my own and I started noticing it in, like, movies I watched like that. I'm a big horror person. Like, I love horror and, and video games and movies. And I just love creepy stuff in general. Um, I Anything that is just, like, off the wall is, is, is fascinating to me. Um, like, I love, like, Raggedy Ann and Andy as an example. Because it's a creepy animation. And, like, it wasn't meant to be creepy, but it's fucking creepy. So, um, and I love it. Um, then that one has things in it, like, that is lore-related and stuff like that. And I didn't realize why I liked them so much until I was introduced to lore. And I realized all the, like, creepiest animations I love are lore-related, which is interesting. Um, like, Who, Fr Who Framed Roger Rabbit, as an example. Uh, the part with the baby. The baby is my favorite character in that because of when he, he opens his mouth and, like, and you go into his mouth as he screams. It's the coolest scene, and I never knew why I liked it until I, until Vor, until I got into Vor. Um, Terror Toad, which all you Vor files out there know exactly who that is. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, even, like, um, even, like, in The Lion King, when, uh, when Simba's screaming. Like, it's, it's very interesting. So, um... Like those kind of things, uh, the greedy from uh, from fucking uh, uh, Raggedy and Andy. It, the list goes on and on and on. But um, those like, are things I always really liked. Late eighties, early nineties animation mm -hmm. and and uh, live action stuff mm -hmm. just was so full of lore. If if you're <coughs> Aladdin, <laughs> if you're like a millennial or a nineties kid or anything like that, and you were I don't know, born like before ninety five. Mm. You you probably have some tendencies of a Vorophile. Yeah. It was just in so much media. It was just everywhere. it was absolutely everywhere. They were like just showing kids like vor related content mm. always. Everything has it. Mm. It's it's mentioned in uh, in Warriors of Virtue. Uh, little monsters. It's in little monsters. Uh, like it's it's everywhere. Terminator. You know, everywhere. Alien. Um, Star Wars. <laughs> See, and originally I thought it was just like, oh yeah, you know, the Japanese are super kinky. No wonder they're getting all of our kids into this weird, this weird kink and stuff. And it's mm -hmm. like, I'm fine with being like, having a Japanese kink. That sounds cool. Yeah. I'm an I'm a otaku. Look at me. I have a Japanese kink. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no. No. It's It should just be normal. It's in yeah. so much media. That's why, like normalizing normalizing the fetish just seems like such a good cause because it's in everything why does it need to be weird if you yeah find that idea appealing like then by all means like explore explore the content obviously you can't go out there and like get swallowed whole by someone i mean we're all waiting for the day that shrink rays exist but you know yeah it's not today <laughs> yeah the other thing is it's like i was gonna say that if if a parent or someone is watching this with a child who is into this sort of stuff. Granted, I hope. Granted, first of all, I hope you're not watching this video. And second of all, <laughs> yeah, that would be a little bit weird. But I mean, be open to exploring that conversation. Yes. Second of all, just because your child wants to be eaten, like it, like this is the biggest thing that I hear about kids when they talk about like, oh, I don't want to talk about this with my parents. The biggest thing is, is they think that their kid, that their parents are going to think that they're suicidal. And they're not. It's a fetish. It's different. Yeah, maybe your kid just wants a sleeping bag. Yeah. With maybe. googly eyes on it. Yeah, or, or it's, a it's bed a that pops and closes or whatever, you know. The, these are things that can be fixed. They, like The difference between fetish, uh, this particular fetish and suicide is that you cannot die 
by being eaten by a gigantus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that's not they don't thing. exist. They don't exist. Maybe like get them red bathroom decor and a speaker that plays stomach gurgling noises. noises. Yeah, seriously. I mean, that's it enough. It, 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 so the thing is, is like, yeah, I live my life in a very vorny way, but I doesn't like. I don't like. I said I don't do weird, creepy things and just like having stomach gurgly noises is like relaxing and calming mm -hmm. and it's it's like you know having it just feels natural to me mm -hmm. like it feels warm it feels safe it feels normal mm -hmm. and maybe that's just what they want maybe you know. and like and ultimately what it what it comes down to is it feels normal i think that's the key word there it feels normal and like and if you make it abnormal then suddenly it, it's not good anymore and it cuts off that person as a person. Exactly. It's like, it's the same thing when people have gender identity issues. Mm. Be open to exploring the conversation and being open to talking to them about how they feel, why they feel that way. Mm. And like, be open, you know, this is like your child mm. or your friend or your husband or your whatever. boyfriend or whatever, you know? Mm. Like, this stuff shouldn't be weird. It shouldn't be taboo. Like, unless the fetish is supposed to be taboo, like, I don't know, like, uh... And there's there's a difference between, like, taboo and, act, and like, actually wrong. Like, the zoophilia thing, that's actually messed up. Yeah, that's really not cool. Because you're not... And, and not not even because, like, like the church says no, or the government says no, or whatever. No, you are, you are forcing yourself on an animal. That is messed up. The animal has no fucking choice. And, like, and granted, that's how they work in the wild, but you are not that animal. If, if, like, that's why, like, I could go find a monkey, because I'm a monkey. Yeah, and I mean, like, you know, if I was going to fool around and get lewd with anyone, I would take my human form. Yeah. Like, it's a human form, it's human form or no form. Also, monkeys are not very attractive to me, just letting you know. So I'd rather be in my human form anyway. But the thing is, is, like... It, like it's, it's a matter of choice, and like because that animal is not sentient, it ha it doesn't have a choice. Yeah, we don't all have a will. voodoo witch doctors. Yeah, exactly. We don't all have voodoo witch doctors. Cursed us into sentience. Yeah, it's not a thing. So like to to force that on something like that. Yeah, your like, dog or your cat cannot consent to to, to that. They can't. They like to to being quote unquote violated. Like they can't consent to that, and like. That's, I, I don't, I don't get that at all. I mean, I understand fetishes are fetishes, but like, that's one of those ones that like, borderline is not a fetish and just shouldn't exist. It's just animal abuse. It's just animal abuse. And like, and the other thing is too, is the only time, I have a general rule of thumb that like, that like, and this is probably an unpopular opinion, but lonely is okay. As long as it's drawn. If yeah, don't go, don't go do that in real life. Don't do if, that. If in real you life. think that that's cute with the Lolita dresses and stuff mm. in like a manga or anime, then you know what? Fine. Mm. I think it's adorable. I would love to dress like that. Maybe I'll even make an outfit for my character that's like that. Yeah. But don't go kidnapping little girls, man. Yeah, like, or, or little boys or anything. Like children are off limits. Yeah. They so, also cannot consent. They also cannot consent because they don't understand. Not even legally, they don't get it. Yeah, I guess this is even this even goes beyond like normalizing or like taking some of the taboo out of like fetishes. Yeah, because we're not saying like, all things are... are like okay. We're just saying like like there are certain things like <laughs> vor, for instance. Like mm. vor is fine. That shouldn't be weird. People shouldn't be like protesting the crap out of it all over YouTube or making like hate videos like if you don't like it then just don't pay don't attention to watch it. it yeah and like and that's also like where like voyeurism is not bad but it also needs to be accepted just like the same idea it's not stink face stinky the same, first the, the same idea like with voyeurism the same idea goes for voyeurism as it is for like getting get, getting like a lot of other things so like voyeurism has to be like you have to know that it's happening so like that which yes seems like a, a an oxymoron for uh or a, what is it called uh where it well it, it where it, it like 
Is the opposite? Yeah, where it's the opposite. Contradiction. Contradiction, which seems like a contradiction. But to make it to where people don't feel violated, which is important, because I'm not saying, like, oh, voyeurism is okay, just watch your neighbor getting undressed. Like, that's not what I'm Consensual. saying. Consensual. Consensual voyeurism is important. If, if you put up, like, th this is, like, a weird thought process. It's never going to happen, probably. But it does happen in some, in some countries. This is a thing. Where, like, a, a camera crew will pay, like, a, 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 a department tour or something to put up cameras in their bathroom. And, like, as an example. And, like, and on the, like, on the, the, the like, the restrooms, it says, filming will occur in here. If you come in here, this will happen. And so, and most people don't give a shit in this. Well, they do give a shit, but they don't, they don't care. That was the entire point. Yeah. They don't care in these countries. And that's, that's just what it is. But, like, I'm not saying that should be normalized in, like, the U.S. or something. I don't really care one way or another. But what I'm saying is, is like it has, there has to be rules to a fetish. Like you have, to, there has to be, there has to be respect. I think is the best way of putting it. Respect and, and like I said, consent. Consent and respect. There needs to be an act between the parties. Yeah. Not an act committed. On yes. Either party. Yeah. Because like it's very important, and like also like the bathrooms that are in like the, like in these countries that do this. Like, as an example, uh, it's not like the whole bathroom is like that. It's like a stall. One stall. Because they're not that, they're not that per, per, like, they're not that bad. Like, it's usually, like, a place that has, like, ten different bath, or, like, ten different stalls, quote-unquote. And that's how it works. But, um, yeah. The other thing is, too, is, um, specifically with the voyeurism, Ephro, like, fetish thing. I, like, I'm into that, but god damn it, people, stop destroying public places. <laughs> Seriously. I'm o I, like I'm okay if you're in your, hound, in your house and you're shitting on a plate or whatever. Stop destroying pl public bathrooms. Just stop it. Yeah, people have to freaking clean those people up. People have to clean that. Don't do it. Stop it. They get you all the hits. It does whatever. Who cares? I don't care. Stop it. It's not nice. It's not okay. And, like, if you're in the woods, who gives a shit? Well, you do. But, like, if you're in if you're in the woods, if you're in whatever. Like, yeah, if just, you're going down to the local CVS and, like, yeah, you're going to the crapping CVS. all over the floor and leaving like, the sink on and clogging the toilet, like, just keep yeah, in mind. Or, like, or crapping in the sink or whatever. Yeah, like, like keep in mind, there's, like, that. there's one person. There's, like, one or two people there at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. And one of those people has to clean all that up. While yeah. the other person has to do the entire rest of the store by themselves. Yeah. Like, it's not cool. It's not okay. It's There's a problem. There's never an excuse for like, it. Like, the TikTok trend for destroying and stealing stuff from public bathrooms, that's just not good. That's mo morally, and, like, just as a person, like, freaking treat. Like, I wouldn't even, again. like, I'm not even going to go as cliche as treat people the way you want to be treated. Like, treat them better than you want to be treated. Yeah. Don't just go into a store and just, like, ruin someone's life. Because mm -hmm. on top of it, like, who knows what kinds of stuff that they can get from touching that. Yeah. You know, they could get diseases. Maybe they have an open cut. Maybe they're cleaning it up and they get an open cut and then they have to touch that. Yeah. And m move it. Or, you know, there's Whatever. actual... When when uh, this homeless lady came into my store that I was working at and she took a dump inside this cardboard box and we had to move it to the back and call, like, a disposal containment unit. Yeah. Like, we had to call, essentially... Hazmat crew. Yeah, we had to call like a hazmat crew to come and pick it up and sterilize the floor that that box was sitting on. And the most messed up thing about that was this box that she decided to go in was what is called DPI. So this is people's like important information. So not only are we calling an outside like policing force to dispose of this like waste. But they also have to not look at these social security numbers, the addresses, uh, names, doctors, medications. Like these because are because it's their job too. Yeah. So like, those boxes, our store is supposed to keep filed away in our back room for like fifteen years before just absolutely like incinerating them, destroying them completely. 
So that was like thousands of people's just private information. Mm. Like, not freaking cool. That ruins that ruins everyone's day. Yeah. And it could Literally. ruin someone's life if they needed something out of that for whatever. Yeah, it could ruin lives and mm. like yeah, don't just don't just mm. be have some kind of dignity and respect for yourself and others. Mm -hmm. Like you know, if if you're paying off a store to go and do that and you're filming it, then by all means, as long yeah. as you have consent. Yeah, consent. Then cool. But don't just don't just thrust it on people like that's not cool. Nobody nobody likes to be forced mm. into whatever. Yeah. No one likes to be forced into anything. Least of all, cleaning up someone else's filth. Yeah, or getting diseases or mm. dying because of it. Like, yeah. That's that's not cool. That's pretty messed up. Also, like, if you have an accent or something like that, that's different. But you should also try and do your best to take care of that, too. Because that happened with a lot of old people at your place. That's true. So, yeah, I mean, like, like, and take care of yourself. Yeah, seriously. Like, also, if you if you feel bad enough that you have to, like, crap your pants, maybe you shouldn't be at a store. Just saying. Yeah, you should just send someone for you. You should send someone for you. You don't have anyone for you? Well, I guess it's not that important then, huh? You fucked up somewhere in life. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I mean, but things like, you know, DoorDash and Grubhub exist. Yeah, I mean, you can order things from, like, Walgreens and CVS from DoorDash. Why would you not do that? Home Depot, Walmart. Yeah, seriously. Safeway. Yeah, and th sometimes, most of the time, they're the same day delivery. So, there's no reason at all to go into a store if you don't need to. Yeah. You're, there's really... And on, honestly, with this being... with Aside COVID, from liquor. Yeah, with COVID and everything being just so out of control, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be going... Like, Americans, specifically... We shouldn't be going out here and spreading this disease and causing mutations and making it worse. But nobody's listened for the past three years, so why the heck would you listen to me now? And I'm not trying to do a PSA on it, but I'm just saying, like, it is, I still go out and wear a mask. And I've stopped wearing a mask for the most part, unless I'm going into, like, a really congested area. Or I just send Diva in, because I'm like, I'm not going in there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I usually, if I leave the house, I'm wearing a mask. That's pretty much how that goes with filters yeah like i've i've been on the brink of trying to find washable gloves so and then just like not having any skin exposed so wearing like leggings and like an under armor shirt with gloves and i mean i have boots and then my mask and being like nope no skin because you don't know what's going to happen to you out there. I mean, it's bad stuff. It's bad juju. Very and I was brought and I was brought into sentience with bad juju. So believe me, I would know. I'm an expert. But anyways, uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Yes. We will uh, see you next time on the stick or whatever the hell we're calling this. Um, I don't know. I really, one, I really stick like... Stick I felt like was pretty good for gameplay. But I feel like I feel like I I really liked your uh, Vorigen thing. I really liked that. I Maybe we that. should call it something. Like we that. should call it something. Like we'll that. come up with a name. We'll come up with a name and we'll like, let you guys know. Anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in with Lemon and Diva Doge Star. Talk to you later. Ada, ada.